Let's have a real conversation about Rarity Collection too, shall we? Hey, remember when all of you, well first of all, make sure you smash the crap out and subscribe button. Hey, remember when you all told me, don't worry Robbie, SP Little Knight's gonna be in this set. I know what I'm talking about. This is the greatest product ever. And guess what? There was no SP Little Knight in the set. I said that this set, and I am on record for saying this, there's no way this set will ever compare to RC01. And I also said that there's no way that this set looks like it's going to be worth the product price that we're looking at. And now I sit back here, I take this in for a second with the SP Little Knight not being in this set. And I gotta tell y'all, wow, you can watch paint chipping off the side of a barn here was more obvious than, you know, how bad this set looks. Now, there are bangers in this set. We've, I, I'll have a, a top video for this later. But right now, it's a I told you so talk for this set. So, SP Little Knight bit not be in this set. What a shocker! Anybody? Anybody wanna, anybody wanna counter argument this? We knew it's in the 400 card Megaton set. Oh, by the way, 400, 400 card set later on in this year, by the way. Daily reminder to each and every one of you that most of these 10 sets were 250, 300 cards. Enjoy an extra 100 cards as you're trying to pull your SP Little Knight. Can't wait for that one. Why is this be a little night fifty dollars in the tins? No shit, no shit at all. All right, so no SP was in the set. All right, I got called out a lot in my comment section for sitting being like SP's not in the set. Okay, now let's let's get a little bit realistic here. Why was why is Thrust not in the set? I, th this one I genuinely didn't understand because is there. Is there still reprint equity in Thrust? Like, uh, could we are, we... are we saving Thrust? Like, what's what's going on here? Like, I, I, I didn't get that one. They have to be holding Thrust for the battle set coming up. Because that doesn't make any sense to me as to why Thrust... I, I don't know. I, I sat here and I, I genuinely looked at Thrust. And I was like, why... Thrust, I think, would have been a very strong selling point for this set, especially with what we did with Tag Talents in the first set. But why? Why did we miss? I'm still looking around for Thrust right now, guys. I, I really am. Like, I, I want to know where Thrust actually is and why we don't have it in here. All right, speaking of things we don't have in here, where in the heck are the Fenrir and the Unicorn reprints? Why did we dodge that one? I, you reprinted the Paralena, all, all the field spells in the world, but you didn't, Fenrir and Unicorn were too much? Like, that that's another one I don't understand here, is looking at Fenrir and Unicorn, those would have been things that I would have thought would have automatically been in this set. At least one of the two of them, right? Like, <laughs> sure, man. But we just, we didn't get them, and I don't know. I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm like, the only other reprints all we have is Battles. Are we tossing Unicorn and Fenrir in there too? Like, oh boy, ultra rare reprints, awesome! They're already ultra rare. I love this game, that's awesome! I love the same rarity shit over and over again. Like, but but seriously, where were those at? I, I don't I don't get that. Um, also, there was this one. This one also boggles my mind. Where is my uh, where's my where's my Snatch Steel reprint? Where is, why, why is Snatch Deal not in this set? Was this set designed so far back before Snatch Deal was even, you know, a sperm in somebody's, you know, ball sack? Couldn't even been thought it was going to be born yet. But we that far back that there was no way that we could have conceived putting Snatch Deal in the set. I, I don't know. I, I genuinely... A lot of the things that I'm checking off here, you know, the thrust, the Fenrir's, the snatch steel that should have been a QCR. Like, are we gonna get a secret rare reprint of snatch steel in the battle set? Like, is, is that is that where all my reprint equity went? Like, it, it has to be. It has to be coming up here in in this battle set. Like, I I don't know. Like, huh? Where my where my buy steel reprints at? Actually, this one this one actually kind of genuinely like made me super sad. Not having buy steels in this set 
genuinely, genuinely is, is, is a miss. Like, we could have had quarter century Magna Hut. We could have had quarter century Jerusalem. People would have been happy as crap for that. And I'm not going to knock on the Blue Eyes reprints for this set because we all know that there's a Blue Eyes structure deck coming down. That's just marketing 101 at that point. But looking at that stuff, though, you do got to ask yourself the question, like, why? Why were the Beistie, like, not like Lubellion, but like the actual ones that we care about. Well, I mean, people care about Lubellion, but he's already got a QCR, you know. But what about the underlings? I genuinely, that was another miss. There are a lot of cards in this set you could have cut to put in the buy steals. I don't think any single person watching this video is going to disagree with that statement. So that's, uh, those are my question marks. Now I gotta be the bearer of bad news here. Rarity Collection 3? Rarity Collection 3. No way, Robbie. There's no, nope, Konami. Oh, you bet. You bet your butt out here. Rarity Collection 3 is now an option. Strictly because six cards, the Charmer Links missed this set. I can't believe this. When we initially looked at Rarity Collection one, and we didn't see the Charmers in there, and they were like they were going down the list of Starlights, and they were reprinting. I looked at the Charmers, and I straight said, "There's no way these are going to dodge Rarity Collection two. They dodged RCO two. Holy crap!" So in the back of my mind, for these conspiracy theories that I have, I unfortunately hate to tell you this. Those six cards' existences, for them possibly being QCRs, means that, oh boy, oh boy. I think that that means that the thought of Rarity Collection 3 being a future product out here. Oh boy, it means you can spend $120 on a product that's worse than RCO2. Think about that for a second. That's not exactly something that you want to be hearing out here <laughs> from me. So, okay. I also want to talk about Colossus here for a second because I, I had, once again, a lot of people out here swearing that, you know, they know how Konami works and they, they understand that Colossus is going to be in this. Konami just reprinted Colossus. No, they didn't. We have an ultimate rare. You have an MP version sitting off over there in the distance. And to top things off, you know, you have some casual other player. Colossus isn't all that expensive. Speaking of, we didn't even get Protos in this set either. Mom, there's no Protos. We didn't get the reprint. Uh, that's all this video is, is just, wow, this card didn't get the reprint. Rare Collection 3 confirmed. Yeah, a little bit, actually. I, I still can't believe it. Yeah, Colossus, we, we knew this wasn't going to be in there. Just like you knew that there wasn't going to be an SP Little Knight, just like you knew half of this shit wasn't going to be in this set. All right. I, 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 I hate to tell you that, but that's just how this is. So, I want to leave you with some thoughts here for Rarity Collection 2, as I've been slamming this set this entire time. All right. I think there are obviously bangers in RCO2. It's the Hand Traps, the Dragoon, the Blue Eyes... You know, Abominations Prison and things getting reprints are good. It leaves a lot to be desired, though, but unfortunately, you have the roadmap out here for future products. You have the battle set that you know they need to sell stuff for. Snatch Steel is an absolute mystery to me. Um, I think these sets are designed long before Banlist are, so, you know, that's why you didn't see certain cards getting reprints in this set. And to all of the people that think they know more than other people, Wait until spoilers are typically done. I, I just give my opinion because I like to give my opinion because I love talking about this game and the core that it is. But if you can't see Rarity Collection 3's writing on the wall with, you know, we just crossed a crap ton of stuff off of that set list. All right. They're, the, the remaining equity that this game has besides SP Little Knight, Chaos Angel, <sighs> some alt arts. Speaking of alt arts, where's... We're, we're still missing the Juggernaut Libby, the Evil Twins. All of this this garbage alt arts that we've been wanting over here, we're missing. We don't know where they are. All right. Rarity Collection 3 with the Charmer Links seems very realistic at this point. And I don't know how I feel about that. I, I think a lot will be determined in the upcoming weeks as we head into this. And we'll have to wait and see how Rarity Collection 2 overall performs. But hey... There was no SP Little Knight in this set. What happened to everybody telling me that it was going to be in here? All right. I don't know what more you want me to tell you. 
Um, yeah, this game sucks. You guys have a good rest of your day, alright? Patrons! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.